Good morning, everyone. I'm John Goulet, and this is my co-host, Lair, Lair Dog Feldman, and you're watching Wasatch 360. What's Wasatch 360? Well, we come to you every Saturday morning at 6.30 to show you the biggest and best that the Wasatch has to offer. That's right, John. Whether it's hotels, restaurants, the hottest gear, one of Utah's unmatched ski resorts, Wasatch 360 is going to bring it right into your living room so you're in the know before, before you, you go. Yeah, that's right. There I like go. before you go better. Okay. Hey, we're sitting here this morning and we're right here at the canyons. We're chilling right at the beach at the base of canyons. And we're going to take you all around to this new fabulous resort, all the new lists, the new restaurants, yep. everything this place has to offer. Yeah, I tell you, I mean, they've done so much here. Mm -hmm. It might take us three shows to show you everything, but we're going to take you around. You're going to see how they've raised the bar here at the canyons, and they're not taking prisoners. Yeah, they really have raised the bar here. New realignment with the gondola, new high-speed bubble chair, new restaurant. You're absolutely right. So let's just sit back, relax, grab a cup of joe. This is Wasatch 360. Hey, thanks, John. Well, as we said, Canyons is setting the standard mountain-wide, and part of that includes raising the bar when it comes to food. Well, as you know, the eats at a ski resort leaves a lot to be desired, but at the Canyons, not here, not anymore. Count them, six restaurants going up here at the Canyons, some on the mountain, some down here at the plaza, and we're here today at the farm. What could that be? Well, I'll tell you, farm to table. We're here with John Mirko, vice president of all the food here at the Canyons, and I'll tell you, it's been, it's great. Tell us the concept here at the farm. The concept behind the farm is, you know, it's what we really wanted to do was find the purest sourced ingredients in the, and travel the least amount of distance as possible. Um, you know, there's been a big movement for within 100 miles, or we're a little challenged here in the mountain states. So it is, um, it's so seasonal here, and um, we, we, what we've done is really say, you know what, we don't want to cross borders to start off as um, no importing vegetables out of Mexico, et cetera, but what can we do that's only in season? So the food not only stays in season, but we also only buy stuff that surrounds the mountain states. So the local farmers were talking stimulating the economy, so to speak. Yep, from um, northern Utah, there were the, some of the best lamb I've ever had in my career, to Morgan Valley, you know that lamb company, to um, Summit County Beef, to uh, Tooele Valley. I mean, there's just uh, an amazing array of vendors that have, um, now they come out of the woodwork now. Well, I'll tell you, I think it's great. I know from the, from the reaction of everybody around the plaza here and the people in the restaurant here, they love it. So, I, you know, I, all I can say to that is, you know, <laughs> cheers, here's to good eats. Uh, and, and everybody else, come, come on up. The farm is where it's at. John, what do you got for us next? We're here at Deer Valley at the Stein Erickson Lodge, and we have a treat for you. We want you to meet a legend. Stein Erickson himself, an Olympic gold medalist, a world champion, and some would even consider to be the father of modern freestyle skiing. Yeah, I guess so. I did a mistake one time. I did a flip on skis without knowing it. <laughs> Is that right? No, I'm just kidding, but I was a gymnast and I did a lot of gymnastics maneuvers with the flips and the trampolines and so on. Stein Erickson won the gold medal in the giant slalom event in the 1952 Winter Olympics that were held in Oslo, Norway. He also won a silver medal in the slalom race. Erickson was honored by the King of Norway and was knighted with the Nor Royal Norwegian Order of Merit for his contribution to Norway. He's always been famous for his great style on and off the slopes. He moved to America and worked as a ski instructor at various ski schools such as Sugarbush and Aspen. And he's currently the director of skiing at Deer Valley Resort and serves as the host of the Stein Erickson Lodge. It was when he was in Aspen that he met the founder of Deer Valley Resort, Edgar Stern. And the rest, as they say, well, it's all history. So he made uh, the 40 last years of my life probably the most beautiful life that I could live. 
Thanks, Eddie Grimpoli Stern. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us on Wasatch 360. Oh, I love we it. really appreciate it. I'm so happy to be here. As I told you, 40 years, and you have no complaints, only at a good time. I love it. I love you, Tom. Well, the response we got from these guys last week on Wasatch360TV.com was so through the roof, we decided let's just give you a double dose. They're known as the Dubsatch Collective, and all I can say is fasten the seat belts and keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times. We're here at Cole Sport in Park City and I'm with John. John, tell us about a new hot line of skis that you have. We have the Blizzard line. Uh, it's a full new line for them. Um, four new skis in the men's line, one lady ski. What they're using this year is a new thing called Flipcore. It's where they're actually building the ski upside down. You mean like reverse camber? Reverse camber. Okay. So you guys, you can see if you put these two skis together. Yep. So no camber underfoot and then a little early rise in the tip. Literally rising the tail. Now this was ski of the year, wasn't this it? This was ski of the year in skiing magazine. Well, uh, what were they saying about this ski? What is this ski for? The ski is for that advanced skier that wants to ski everywhere. Okay. Um, so basically it's 108 underfoot. Yep. Still able to carve on the groom. Got a good side cut, but big enough that it's going to float in the powder, crud, junk. 
It looks like a thin ski, the construction on it. It's kind of nice. Yeah, actually. it's more of a flat ski compared to your skis with your system. So you can put any type of system. You can tele ski this, um, you can put trekking bindings, or your average al alpine binding. Okay. Uh, what other line of skis do they have here? Or what other. Uh, so this was the ski of the year. This mm -hmm. is for. Uh, so this is the Cochise. Okay. With the four skis, they're hitting it on the eights because they came out with the bull theme. So the eight second ride is what they're going with. So he comes out the 88, and this is the Bushwhacker. No metal in this ski, kind of for your one ski does everything for somebody that's not as advanced as everybody else. Okay. Um, Bonafide, 98 underfoot. More of an everyday ski for somebody that doesn't ski big mountain, more ungroomed. Cochise covered that one, every ski, one, uh, one ski quiver for everybody. Okay. Bodacious is kind of their big ski. Right, this is for when the powder is yeah, deep, right? Definitely, 118 underfoot, real big mountain. A lot of the free ride guys are skiing that one this year. Really popular ski right now. And these are the blizzards right Blizzard now. Blizzard skis, yes. All right. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. If you're looking for a new line of skis that's pretty hot this year, check out the Blizzard line at Cole Sport. Well, it's time for Property of the Week, and we're here once again with Linda Seacrest from Prudential, Utah. Linda, thanks for having us. Uh, us on with you today. My pleasure, Larry. We've got a magnificent home here on Walker Lane today. It almost feels a little East Coast. That's true. This is Utah's answer to New England. Larry, look at this. Have you ever seen three acres of more prestigious property than this? Beautiful. It has two creeks, a natural flowing artesian well, lots and lots of groves of trees, the east end of Walker Lane is truly the most prestigious area in Utah. Well, before we walk through the front doors, describe the property and describe the home. Well, this home is extremely unique to Utah. The size of the property, a three acre rectangle piece in this prestigious area is extremely unusual and extremely pricey. Normal property like this would go for a million dollars an acre for just the land. And remember, we're priced at two nine 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 nine. Well, let's show everybody what it's all about. Great. Well, a magnificent uh, entryway. It is a magnificent entryway. The floors are all done in travertine. The floor plan is very unique in that it makes a complete circle, allows for a lot of people to visit, so you can actually have uh, 150 people here and rarely know that you've got a crowd. This is a formal living room and it also makes a wonderful music room. Uh, so just off the formal living room here is the beautiful dining room. Yes, and it's very, very large. It, it is something more like a European castle dining room. Well, Linda, this is just a magnificent kitchen, a perfect place for entertaining. Yes, it's absolutely set up for a gourmet chef. You notice that Viking range? Mm -hmm. Incredible quality. I love the butcher block with the little hole in it to scrape your leaves. Also the sub-zero fridge and freezer. So as you come out of the kitchen, you come right into the beautiful great room. Yes, with soaring vaults and oh, look at the fire. I think we should just stay here the rest of the day. So let's talk the basics. Bedrooms, baths, how many? Well, up here we have three bedroom suites and then the huge, massive master suite. And over above the garage, we have guest quarters with another two bedrooms. Mm, fantastic. There's a huge playground and a sports court. Well, not only is this just one big, wonderful playground, what a view of the hills. Isn't that gorgeous? This property has to be one of my all-time favorites. And keep in mind, Larry, that this property goes to the middle of Big Cottonwood Creek. Linda, a beautiful home. If you're interested in this or any of Linda's listings, go to lindaseacrest.com or contact her at the information below. Linda, thanks so much for having us. Thank you, this was a treat. All right, well, after a hard day of skiing, no better place to be than Kobe Sushi it is at the, the base of the Cottonwood. Yeah, we're just getting ready for the challenge. We're going to do the Hellfire Challenge. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, about doing this fire challenge. I heard 
It hurts. It's a, it's a good pain. <laughs> Especially since you're doing it. Yeah. And I tell you, this is the hottest, absolute hottest challenge that I have had. Uh, nothing compared to Tabasco, and it lasts for hours in your gut. Why do people do this? You know, they say endorphins are released when uh, you eat hot stuff. I've had a lot of stuff online in those ghost chilies, and boy, I don't know, there's something that he does in this. I haven't figured it out yet. But it is crazy intense, and why they do it is for the victory and glory. I earned this shirt. I, I did not pass my first time. I came back a second time to do it. We can do this. All right, we can do this. <laughs> Chef Alex, the Hellfire Challenge. So this is the four, five, six. Uh, oh, this is this is the minor leagues of the Hellfire Challenge. So which one's the four? The front two pieces is four, five, the last two pieces. Is four. But we only he only needs to do one of each. One of each. So you need to do the four. Well, there's two, so we should maybe both of us do it. <laughs> That's what I think, Larry. Take a seat. Oh, come on, come on. This is come on, Larry. Yeah, come on, Larry. Why are you doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh. Go. Go. Doesn't go down that easy. <laughs> the fun path. Level four, not a problem. Go, keep going. You're you're the champ. You're the fighter. I'll do six. That's level six. That's level six. That means you qualify. Whoa. Did that just hit you? That hit me. <laughs> Drink, drink. No problem. <laughs> Level six. Okay, Chef Alex. I'm ready for the Hellfire Challenge. Wow. Okay, my mouth right now is on fire. Is it? Yeah. You're gonna be fine. You're that will be fine. You keep drinking. We're gonna, we need a bucket of water. A bucket of water. This is our lovely. Hey, what is this? Hellfire 6.5. 6.5! 6. 6. What, what's the highest level? Oh, Good. I am not going to lie. I am really, really nervous. Just well, what's pretend, that? pretend this is a no, chocolate I'm doing chip. It. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Chocolate chip cookie. I'm just doing it. Chocolate chip cookie, Milk. No. Beer. Uh, water. Milk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here it comes, here it comes. Here we go, 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 go. Uh heck the one goes down, you gotta do the other. Now the one, now. Are you throwing in the towel? I mean, that's not even the first one. Now you're halfway through. That was a qualifying? No, that's to get. Through. You're halfway through. Two more, two more pieces, I think. Two or four. How many pieces is. How many pieces? How many pieces of seven does he eat? Six. You gotta eat six. They're never gonna no, do it. No, no more. You gotta do the next level. No. What's that? Okay. Oh. They come out with a sparkler. No, I'm throwing in the kimono. Just remember, every great champion has its setbacks, and you just received your first. I made it to it's the 6.5, though. It's not over. We can come back and do this. Yes, we can. We can. <laughs>
They are the best thing there. Now, when you started, though, there were three disciplines, yes. right? Yes. And you were kind of like the ballerina on skis. Is that yes. Correct? Well, we did three. We did um, ski ballet, aerials, and moguls. So, actually, ballet was the first event that I made it to U.S. National Championships in, believe it or not. So now you're from Reno originally. Yes. Okay. And in that the biggest little city in the world and you ski Tahoe and yes. but it's something must have pulled at you at some point and says, I gotta get to Utah. Well, I was born in Reno, grew up in Tahoe, in beautiful, beautiful Lake Tahoe. And um, I decided to come out to Utah to go to school, try and make the ski team, and I had a bunch of friends that lived out here. So I gave it a whirl and I've been here for twelve or thirteen years now and I love it. So now I hear on top of a variety of different things. You are the ski ambassador at a little hotel here in, in uh, Deer Valley. Yes, I am so, 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 so excited. I'm the new and ski ambassador uh, for the St. Regis Hotel up at Deer Valley. Very cool. So what, what, can, what can the guests expect? Well, we will go out. I will show you a wonderful time at Deer Valley, take you to all the hidden spots on the mountain. We can have lunch, we can have apres. Just basically a great time up at that resort. And in between that, you're making coffee. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know. I've just got a little bit on my plate. Um, my husband and I uh, own a coffee roasting business. And um, starting Monday, I'm going to be working down there full time. We're going to have, we're, we're changing it up a bit down at our coffee shop. It's right at the bottom of Big Cottonwood Canyon. And it's called? Silver Bean Coffee. Silver Bean Coffee. Yes, yeah, so everybody, when you're on the way up to Big or Little Cottonwood, all you have to do is just swing in in the Old Mill Plaza, grab a cup of joe. Um, this winter, we're probably going to do um, box lunches. So you can have coffee and lunch at our place and then go spend the rest of the day enjoying the powder in the mountains. And if that's not enough, now your motivational <laughs> speaking yes I've been you know, I've been doing that for a while so that's motivate me tell, tell me how, what am I how can I improve my life <laughs> <laughs> follow me for a day I'll, I'll pick up your life no it's just been really fun you know sharing um, my Olympic story and my Olympic journey through all the good times and the bad um, and ending up with an Olympic bronze medal at the end is truly something that I'm very proud of so I love to share that with corporations and people and all that stuff so Shannon <laughs> Pleasure. Thanks Thank for you being so with us. Much. Thank uh, you. We will see you soon. Huh? Thank you. We're here at Cole Sport and we are talking boots right now with. Uh, the Technica Blizzard rep, Connor Brown. Connor, Technica this year has a lot of new hot innovations going on. Yeah, we do, we do. This is uh, this is the boot I'm probably most excited about. This is one of the hottest ski boots in the ski industry right now. We have sold piles of them over the last few months. Um, really, it's it's a ski boot that kind of redefines that side country category. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, in the past, um, people have associated a side country boot with maybe lacking in kind of downhill performance. It let you go right. up and it let you get there into the back country, but really when you, you know, you locked them down and wanted to go for Form and wanted to go ski, you kind of had a product that really wasn't letting you do everything. And what you're talking about is there, there, was, a, there was a hinge in the boot. Exactly. Yes. And so it would be able to walk easier. Exactly. Exactly. So yep. now what you're kind of doing is you're addressing people that want to walk through the parking lot or that customer that wants to go in the backcountry all in one boot. Really? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Uh, you know, this, this new walk function that we've come out with on this, on this ski boot really really lets you you know release the cuff really easily um, but when you lock the biggest difference what we're doing is when you lock this cuff down uh, you you have yourself a high performance 120 flex ski boot the essentially the upper is riveted right to the lower so when you flex that boot is a normal 120 flex high performance ski boot you're going to get the most performance on the down as any high performing boot out there yet when you release this walk function here you get more range of motion uh, than just about any product in this category. Because that's been the problem with with the touring boots is they've been a little bit too soft and they've lacked in performance. Exactly. exactly. And so right now you've kind of solved that problem. Exactly. But you've given also the everyday consumer exactly a little bit of a hinge right here. Yep. Exactly. I mean it's it is a it is a performance feature for that person looking for that you know side country boot. But it's also a convenience function for that average person. You know it's easier to walk across the parking lot in. Yeah. It's easy to stand around in all day. Um, you know we have this 
this system in soccer flexing boots for you know that average consumer who still wants a high performance boot, who wants something they can ski in every day and are going to have a great time. But you know, it's a convenience function when you want to walk across the parking lot or you know stand up a little bit taller, whatever you want to do. Yeah. And this comes in a 120 flex or a 110 flex. Yeah, so the Cochise here comes in a 120 flex. We make the the Bushwhacker here in a 110 flex. And then we also have what's called a Crossfire in 100 Flex. So kind of three different flex options for different types of consumers. Wow, look at that. The uh, Technica Cochise. Truly a hot item on the shelves at Cole Sport. Well, I've been called a lot of things, but a liar is not one of them. And true to my word, I promised you a second dose of the Dub Satch Collective. Here they are. Dub Satch Collective, love it. Those guys are great. We hope you enjoyed Wasatch 360 this week from Canyons. What a spectacular resort this is. Everything, the mountain speaks for itself, the restaurants, the shops, it is It's getting world better class. and better. World class. World class, that's for sure. Hey, don't turn the channel. We'll be right back here on Fox 13 with your Good Day Utah weekend edition, and I'm gonna have your live weather forecast in just a couple of minutes. But first, we're gonna send you out with a little bit of... More Dub Satch Collective. See you Adios. next week, everybody.